everybody welcome back to the Firefly Studio this is Gina I want to say uh, uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers and uh, hello to all of you who've been with me for a while I appreciate it so much um, I am very sorry that I have not been doing a whole lot lately guys um, I'm just gonna put a couple of journals here to share with you guys um, I Things have just been really, really crazy, and um, let me just zoom out here a little bit. Sorry about that. I've got my lighting here. Um, for for those of you who are new, you may not realize I live full time in a thirty foot travel trailer, and so space is is at a premium. So I'm sitting here on my little dinette, and this is where I am now calling my studio. <laughs> so. Um, so yes, guys, I apologize for that. There's no craft here today, so if if uh, you were looking for a project, I do apologize. And, um, you know, I'm just going to let you know in advance, this is just kind of an update as to what's going on. Um, okay, so I think a lot of you um, realize that we went on the road with the intention of seeing the country... Um, and possibly doing some part-time work. Well, that's changed with our current economic situation in the U.S. So we have had to um, station, you know, uh, put ourselves in an area and just get jobs. So um, just to let you all know, we are in Michigan now. Um, so we're doing some work up here until mid-October. Um, so th that's exciting for me because this is my home state, although I did grow up in South Georgia. So I'm always very torn between Michigan and Georgia because they both hold, um, you know, fond memories. So you're looking at this thinking, well, what is this? Um, okay, let me just show you all what I have been doing with my time. Uh, I think I will actually set these to the side and show you the thing that I'm probably most pleased about. Um, so bear with me here, guys. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing, but I have finally um, attempted quilting. Well, I say that in a very loose sense. This is a rag quilt, and so I think it would probably be fair to say this is um, the most basic beginner type of quilt. And so I just made myself a little throw because I get really cold at night when I'm sitting. Um, we usually try to watch an hour of TV before we go to bed. And this was just the perfect project for me. Um, I had acquired some f uh, fabric just uh, about f probably four months ago. This was on clearance at Walmart. You may recognize it. It's the Pioneer Lady. In hindsight, it wasn't the best fabric to have chosen for this because it is quite cheap fabric. But I did not want to spend a lot of money because I didn't know, first of all, if I was going to enjoy the process. And with it being my first one, there are mistakes. Um, this just can't be avoided, you know, when you're learning something new. But I will show you just a few of the blocks um, and what I love about it is it just, the more you wash it, the more weathered it gets. And then I started playing with some stitching. I don't have a great sewing machine. And again, you know, it's, it's really, this project really has showed the flaws in the machine I've got. But for junk journaling, it's perfectly fine. So that's one project I did, guys. That took me about... Uh, I'd say probably, you know, with working, I'd say that probably took me about six weeks to complete, and it's just a little small lap throw, so it's not a large full-size quilt. So that kept me busy for a little while. I, I tend to obsess when I start a project. So let me just show you this one, because you're probably going to be the least interested in this. I have for ages wanted to do a junk, junk journal. journal. Um, everything just being made from things that we use in our everyday life and bits of junk that I've p 
picked up a long way, and this is nowhere near complete. So I took a cream of wheat box, and I actually think I'm going to cover the spine with some fabric, as long as it doesn't cover up too much of the cover, because the whole purpose of this was, um, you know, I want it to just be a complete junk journal, and I know this is so far from my style, but that actually has been something I've wanted to do during this downtime is to, um, I'm sorry for the noise guys, that's Daisy, she's still with us and she's, um, every, sorry to digress, but every afternoon she's got dementia and she starts pacing, um, so I do apologize, there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm, I am sorry for that. But back to this, I've wanted to push myself outside of my comfort zone and, um, this definitely has done so. There are things I've done in here I don't like. There's other things I love. There are things I'm going to go back over and probably change. I'll just give you a very, very quick um, flip through of that. Um, this was some fabric that um, the woman that actually got me into the quilting, she gave me this. She had went to the Atlanta um, quilt show, and this is a very good quality quilt, but I knew for me this isn't my style and I thought well I'm just going to take advantage of it and use it in this um, and again this is just a, a bit of scrap and then I thought well this page I've got red um, I'm just going to do it completely in red and I'm still not done with this cover so I don't know I'm probably going to do something so that that's not necessarily showing when you open it just one moment guys And I apologize if the table is shaking. Um, I've got this in a mount, and as you can imagine, an RV is not particularly <laughs> stable. So, yeah, just little things <coughs> I picked up along the way. Brochures, I've really, really found that the um, brochures that you can pick up along the journey, you know, your journey, if you're on the road or um, stopping into a visitor center, is really actually surprised me. Um, I've picked up some really nice things from there. You probably won't see it because I dropped off the journal I was working in last year. I actually dropped off at my storage and I, I really got some beautiful things from um, the ranger station. So keep those things in mind. Um, this is just a wood little keepsake from the um, U.S. Forest Service. So I just attached that. And as I said, this, you know, I know this is probably isn't going to appeal to probably 98% of, of my subscribers um, because it's, it's just so far from what I would normally do. But for me, that's been the appeal is to just do something completely different. Do, you know, sometimes I've loved how it's turned out. Other times, not so much. Um, again, you know, I just saved receipts, and for me, I know that this was an, an area that we spent time in. We went out for a Chinese, so, um, you know, just little things like that. This page, I just thought, I'm just, every time I get a sticker, I just add to it. Um, I'm not necessarily thinking that one through. And as I said, I've been bouncing around in this journal, so it's, it's not complete by any stretch of the magic. So, I what I will do um, when I finally complete this, I'll probably come back and give you all a complete flip through of it. You know, if anybody's interested. Like I said, I've done this for me. I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been spending my time on. This page I actually really like. This was really cool. I found it. Um, this was a like a postcard I picked up along the way and I just fussy cut it out and I just think it's super cute. So yeah, that's the sort of things. Um, this one, I don't like it. I had picked up some of those paper packs from Hobby Lobby. I managed to get to one of the clearances, which is, you know, like I rarely ever seem to get to go to the clearances, but I did this year, and um, I went back 
gosh, probably four or five times. I got very little, I'll be honest. Uh, most of it really isn't my thing. And I picked these up, and I'll be honest, um, it's probably going to be something that I um, gift to somebody when I do a complete sort out. Because after I purchase it, I'm like, you know, it's just not really my thing. So um, I'll use it here and there for journals, but that's about it. So, yeah, this one I thought came out really, really cute because we'd had tacos one night and I just cut that up. That's turned into two pockets. And I thought, well, I'll make some um, some tags down the road. But, you know, I got these, um, the Roadrunner and Coyote images I just added there. So so that's where, where I'm at with it, guys. Um, and like I said, you know, then I reverted back to my style and I don't know if I'll leave them or not I went ahead and dated them and then I thought you know that's the whole pro process is doing things and deciding what I like and what I don't like I actually love this one this was um, just scraps that I had I've got very little to work with guys um, and then this was just from one of the campsites that we checked out on. I put that as the background and, you know, I'm just working with what I've got. Um, it can be very frustrating, I won't lie. Now, I like this one. This is just a bunch of stuff that we picked up along the way and I like how that came out. So, it's been very challenging. Um, it's very hard when you know that you've got so much product in storage um, but I can't get to it and even if I could I've got no place for it so yeah it um, I'm looking forward to to getting a studio again I won't I won't lie about that I really really miss it and yeah it's um it's been something I knew I would miss it, but I guess I didn't know it as much as I, as I have. This page, I absolutely love how it came out. This was just so many things um, that, you know, wrappers, a um, little sticker. This is, we were in Gadsden, Alabama, and just, you know, one of these flower images are recently from um, Hobby Lobby. That was for the fabric for my quilt to finish it off. So that kind of thing, you know, like I said, I've got to go back through um, this one. Just something that, you know, is happening now in the present. And I just thought I would do a page devoted to that. So, yeah, that kind of gives you guys an idea. This one was really fun. This was um, an area of Indiana that we stopped in. And uh, it was an Amish area. And I love it <laughs> really really fun uh, we got some raw milk while we were there so that was great so there you go guys that's kind of that's the junky junk journal so I'll set that to the side that one probably I'll give myself to the end of the summer to finish it um, if I don't I'll just carry on with it uh, there's no time frame on it this one is um, a journal that I actually made about five years ago. That, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Um, I don't know where the times went. But this is a Reader's Digest book that I've upcycled and I added some tissue paper and then um, a frame. So um, yeah, I had this in my lockup. I was like, okay, I'm just going to grab that. And wow, I've loved this journal. Uh, I really, really, really have enjoyed this. So this is 2023. This is basically... Um, March, April, and May will be in this book. So I'm figuring for three months um, I should be through with this by, by the end of, of that. So I started out with this um, with the junk journal January. <laughs> so even though I said this was uh, March, I this actually, yeah, I take that back. It actually started in January, but you'll see as we go along. I did not get very far with that challenge, and um, yeah, so you'll see. These are pages from that. Um, some of them I have on it. This one was starry. This one was resolutions. 
but some of them I don't remember. I think they're written. This one's stained. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My battery ran out. So, as I said, it started out with the Junk Journal January Challenge, and then I just started going off on um, using up. I've got some of these Tim Holtz. Uh, bits of ephemera, and I've just been trying to collage on some of the pages and, you know, make some little notes on things that we were doing on the day. I love how that collage came out. Um, so, yeah, it's been great. Um, as I said, I've got very few supplies, so although, you know, a lot of these didn't come out the best, um, I think it has challenged me having so few things to work with um, and I, I think it's definitely improved my collaging but what I think is going to be noticeable when I actually get back to having all of my supplies is I think I'm going to find it so much easier um, to journal at that point when I've got you know all of my things around me and again just more things that were happening in the days. This one, you know, just images that I really liked, even though it's not autumn. I just thought, I'm going to do a page devoted to it. Um, so yeah, now this one was really, really, really fun. I picked, I foraged these little petals in Alabama, and what I did was just a Mod Podge them, and they've just been beautiful, and you'll see them further on. So yeah, just little things that I picked up along the way. Um, anytime I've seen magazines that were for free, I just picked those up and cut out. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, I've got some stickers and some die cuts, but very little. Um, so, you know, I like I said, it's all a learning process and... Um, I do think it's going to have made things much, much easier when I finally get back to my stash. Oh, which, by the way, I'll show you something else I've taken up. I love how that collage has come out, and that's got multiple layers on that. Um, so, yeah, just anything, you know, that I could save from the day that we were out. Um, I've just tried to include that. So this third, this has got three signatures. This section here... Um, will be for May. Um, yes, this was what I was going to show you. Aren't those just beautiful? I was so pleased to have forged those um, and found them in the woods. So, Okay, so I'll set that to the side, guys. And then there's just one other thing I will share very quickly because my battery's about to go again. It's... um. It's been so um, long since I did a um, a video that I I did. It just didn't even occur to me to keep the batteries charged. So what has she been up to? I've decided, and I picked this up at Walmart. Believe it or not, it's a little eighteen watercolor palette. And I think I got this for about $11. And I'll be honest, guys, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I'm very, very pleased with this. You get the little um, water brush as well, but I did buy a nice brush from Hobby Lobby when they had the clearance on. But I love this because I can now throw that in my backpack and maybe just kind of experiment um, on a hike or something. But um, I've just been practicing and I'm very pleased. What I like about this, um, and I'm trying to think of who, I'm following a couple of ladies, but it's really fun because you come back in with a little, with a very fine tip black ink pen and just do a little bit of doodling and I just think that really brings it out. And then here's another one that I've done. I mean, they're not great, but I can definitely see um, some improvement. This one was really, really difficult for me. And um, 
I, I'm just, I love cone flowers. So that is something I'm going to be striving to uh, master is the cone flower. And then this day was just um, a practice on different ones. And actually, I'm really pleased with how that one came out. I think the coloring is really pretty on that. It's just a shame it was on one of my scratch papers for practice. But yeah, just playing around, trying to get better at the the roses. And, and then this one, I love how that one came out. Just a bit of fun. So that's another little, um, this one's not as good, I don't think, as those. Um, something else, I, I like dabbling. You know, I get bored with things. But this one, I love the colors on that. I'm, I'm happy with how that came out. And this one's not so great. Um, so I think that's it. Yeah, I actually, it's been several weeks now since I worked in this, so I'll have to get back to it. But that's another thing that's been keeping me busy. Um, I also have a slow stitching project that I'm working on, and it's called a friendship quilt. I purchased that about four years ago, and I knew I was going to save it for, you know, when, is well, yeah, it has been four well, no, maybe it's been about three because I knew that we were doing this road trip and I said, well, I'll just save it and I'll put it to the back. So I am in in between all of this. Then if I get bored with this, I've been doing a little bit of the um, embroidery to complete those blocks. And once those are done, then I've got the fabric to then go back. Um, if I had thought, guys, I would have pulled that out to show you uh, what I'm talking about. It's going to be a wall hanging. So that's it. That's all I've been doing. I do apologize that um, it's taken me so long to let you guys know that we're all okay. We're not even doing videos on our other channel. Um, we're having a rethink about that. Um, and we'll see. I, I, we still don't know yet what we're going to do with, with that channel. But I will at some point be back. You know, I, I mean, this is my passion. So... I will be back, guys. I just don't know when it's going to be. Um, I'm going to try to plan a few little projects here and there that are small that I could that I think you'll get, you'd be interested in that I can upload very quickly because we've we've got limited internet as well. But we're safe. We're well. We're in Michigan uh, for the summer and um, going to get out and enjoy. You know, do our cycling, kayaking. Just really enjoy the area, but I hope you guys are all safe and well. I appreciate so much that you've stuck with me through this. I'll be back. I just don't know when. So until then, you guys take care. Bye-bye.